Hey guys, uh, today I would like to show you how to install Git and use Git on your Visual Studio Code. So that you can see in the source control, it says a valid installation was not detected and more details can be found in the Git output. So if I click on that, it says that Git installation not found. Okay, so I would click on install Git and I would open page. So it says that latest source release is 2.27 so i would just download it for windows so it would take a few more seconds so once we start installing git So I would just follow the default uh, parameters. So I select git bash, git GUI, so I can use both command line and user interface. And I can use also Vim editor, but uh, in your case, I would use the Visual Studio Code text editor for that. So, So the installation started while we install the git i would like to talk about why this github is so much important and so github is world's uh, largest software development platform and it also provides the cloud storage for source code supports all popular programming languages and at its core which it uses is basically the git system which controls revisions and runs in the command line interface okay so git is a form of version or revision control system which runs in command line interface and how does git work so it has few uh, features first is tracking so it makes a permanent record who made which change this is very important for software development like there might be 20 people working in the same project so it's very important to know who made this change and what was that change marching so this is also useful in team environment so everybody can work independently on each file and march files anytime while also saving copies of their older versions so that there is no conflict I've restarted the Visual Studio Code and I can go to this source control which shows that in order to use Git features you can open a folder containing Git repository or clone from a URL okay so what does it mean that we can clone all the files from my Git repository which has been already set up in GitHub okay so before uh, doing that I can show you how to set up github profile so if you go to github.com and i sign out from my existing logged in version so i click on sign up and i chose username email address and password and i just verify my account so that and i click on create, create account so this is basically the very very use uh, easy steps to set up your github account okay once you create your github account you can log in by clicking on sign in and providing your username and password so once we do that you can create a new repository by clicking here new so you can give a repository name let's say i give it sample project okay so it has to be available and i set is as a public so that it can be accessible by anyone who does have this link okay i can put a description which is optional so i just do not do that and i create a repository so i go to the readme file and provide this is a sample project okay 
and let's call it the new file okay. so I can see the description has been there so if I want to do some changes in this repository I would go to this URL and paste it in clone repository so if I paste this link then it should start cloning okay so now uh, it says the select repository location so once I start cloning it has to be on my local desktop so I create a folder on my desktop and give it the same name like that of the project so I say sample project and I select this folder okay so that means in this folder the uh, repository would be cloned so it says that uh, would you like to open the cloned repository I said open so this readme file you can see that there is nothing so if i want to do any change on this readme file so i said this is just for checkup so control s and i click here open changes so it shows what changes has been done by highlighted this with different color so if i click here i see that there is a notification one notification so if I want to commit this, I provide a commit message. I just put a arbitrary commit message, but in real case, you have to provide some good uh, one which reflects or which means what changes you are doing. So I click on commit. So it always. Okay. And if I want to push. Yes, now the question comes like VS Code doesn't know that uh, whether I'm authenticated. Okay, so it asks for GitHub login. So that what it means is basically I cannot go in anyone's GitHub and do some changes on their project list and upload into in their web server. We cannot do that. So I have to authenticate that this is basically my GitHub account and I am doing changes on my github account so I provide the same username password so once I log in successfully it should get uh, pushed to that master branch so it's now probably done so let me check if I refresh it so you see that this is just for checkup so th this is how basically I would uh, update my github from my visual studio code and yeah this is just a sample so in our next videos we would learn about how to pull push and like we did the commit so this is will be in more detail in the next videos Okay, so if you like my video, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you and happy coding.